Now to an update on a story we first brought you at the beginning of the week. The grandmother of the 12-year-old boy allegedly beaten up by two teens while at a local football game is speaking out. Welcome to Western Mass News at 6. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Mary Wilson. Western Mass News reporter Paris Dunford joins us live with what she had to say. Paris? Chris, Mary, this grandmother says she wants answers after she says her grandson was banned from Chicopee Comprehensive High School property. She says it sends the wrong message to her grandson who has already been a victim. At a Chicopee Comprehensive High School football game, police confirm they are investigating a physical fight between a 12-year-old boy and two 16-year-olds. The two teens have been charged with assault and battery and stealing and damaging the 12-year-old's iPhone. The 12-year-old had gotten jumped, and I'm like, what? The grandmother of the 12-year-old speaking exclusively with Western Mass News, but wanting to remain anonymous. While she's upset about what happened to her grandson, she tells us she didn't want the 16-year-olds to be charged with felonies. Her alternative is, is that their children are going to be caught up in the juvenile court system, and to me, that's just a shame. That's just absolutely sad. She says since that night, her grandson hasn't wanted to go many places alone. He's not like going out to the park by himself anymore in the, la in the last week. Normally, he would go to a, a local park or one of the schools and play basketball. Um, he's not wanting to do any of those things. And now she says he's being victimized again as she got a call from her grandson's school saying he's not allowed on Chicopee Comp property. And I don't think any of that is fair. He's being punished for something he had no control over. Even though his siblings are on the football team. Which excludes our whole family from going to the football game on Thanksgiving, which is a tradition for us. And his brother plays in that. Now, we've reached out to the Chicopee Comp Principal's Office numerous times since Monday and have not received a response regarding this incident. We also asked the Mayor's Office, Chicopee School Council members, and the Superintendent's Office for a response as well, most of them directing us again to the Chicopee Comp Principal, who we are waiting to hear back from. Reporting live in studio, Paris Dunford for Western Mass News.